And then, of course, somebody asked, well, when this all happened, did you get mad at your husband? And it was like, it's kind of a good question. At the time, I wasn't so much mad at him as I was mad at his company. And I was mad at the situation, initially. That was who I was mad at. But did I ultimately, eventually become mad at Nick himself? To an extent, and it got into the area of communication. And this is where Big Sister Black had to remind me about some very basic lessons of communication and relationships. Because I was in a scenario where he had gotten fired, I saw I had to start doing all these things, but I still wanted the old ways and I didn't, wasn't really communicating very well. I did not have realis realistic expectations. I didn't realize that, you know, yes, a marriage is 50-50, but in many ways my marriage had been 90-10 and he was dealing with a lot of things, the finances and a lot of other stuff. Well, all of a sudden that changed overnight and I didn't have a realistic expectation that sometimes I might have to do the 90. Black kind of had to remind me of a story once that took place many years prior when I lived in Shanghai when again, I had problems communicating with my husband. And she reminded me at that time, she goes, um, I thought you told me that you get all these like really nice letters that come from the stuffed animals. And I said, well, yeah, and I'm like, and if this is back in the Shanghai days, she goes, well, do you really think the stuffed animals have learned how to use a pen and are actually writing you those letters? What do you think it's possible Nick is writing those letters? And he's just putting them in front of the stuffed animals at night so you find them in the morning. And I'm like, fine. Nick, British, does not like to have a conversation. But he was very comfortable writing a letter and just distancing himself a little bit because that's what, you know, he does. He's a British person. Um, he had to come from the stuffed animals. So fast forward, he gets fired. He doesn't want to have a real conversation. And she reminds me, you might want to try those stuffed animals again. Sure enough. I left a little note in front of one of the stuffed animals because what I wanted to talk to him about was the need to find a house, to buy a house. We were in a rental. So I put this little sign, little note card in front of one of our stuffed animals that, go, that said, I really would like a new home. And I signed it the name of the stuffed animal. OK, this is really pathetic. But you know what? He sees it the next morning. And the next thing I know with his coffee, he's pulled out the real estate section. Something I couldn't get him to do for like a week because the stuffed animal talked to him. You know what I learned? It doesn't matter the method, as long as you find a way. For some people, it's going to be talking. Some people, it's email. Some people, it's communication.